Alright. It's time! And then you activate. And then boom! And then... Oh! Ah! Now, I think we got a lot of the information already. So, do we speedrun this? <coughs> Are you guys ready? Patch notes, patch notes, patch notes. Content update 3.24.0 Path of Exile Necropolis. You will encounter Aramor. I don't know what he does though. Examine the spirit's haunting ray class. So, this is mandatory. So, for the first time, I think this is the first time in PoE history. But maybe not the first time, but you are forced to do this mechanic. Like, you are. You, you can't. I mean, you can kind of skip it by just clicking accept, but. Beast was mandatory? Yeah. Although it's more mandatory than Beast because when I see Ironhire in the map, I just walk past him. But this is like the map. This, the, you know you know what I mean? Like th the map is this, you know what I mean? It, it, it fundamentally changes what you find in the map. Like, you know, this is gonna be so hit or miss boys. I'm just gonna say right now, the, uh, the crafting system, it's either gonna be Rogger's Pog or dog shit. Like it's gonna be Talisman League or Rog. It's gonna be one of these two. I, I really hope, I really hope it looks way too slow. Well, I don't think slow is bad necessarily. If it's powerful enough, it looks dog shit. Yeah, I mean, if the rewards are there guys, I mean, you could argue Affliction League was way too long. Think about what Affliction League was. You spent multiple minutes potentially to juice up a map. You know what I mean? But that, and that was worth it. <laughs> I think, you know, that was worth it, so. I mean, we'll have to see how rewarding it is. I'm not going to judge it before I see the rewards. And the rewards they showed us were kind of like, maybe not the best. It, you know, it didn't provide enough scope. So, um, automation, we know what that does. Call to arms, yep, transfigured gems. We have a few of the transfigured gems over here, which we can take a look at. Tornado of elemental turbulence. A tornado of a random element that damages enemies around it and it chases enemies. Not sure if this is good or not. It sounds like this is supposed to do damage though. This sounds like more of a, you, you know how the current tornado is more utility? This seems more of like an actual build to, you know, map with. Don't know if that's gonna be good or not. We have a penetrating eye shot. Fires a piercing arrow that converts physical damage. Some physical damage to cold on his target and converts all physical damage to cold in two cones perpendicular to the target. Huh? Projectiles pierce three targets, chills enemies as though dealing more damage. Modifiers to number of projectiles do not apply. Oh my god. Why? Okay. Um, I'd have to see it in action to be honest with you. Um, call to arms. We've seen this one. Level 20 though. It still has reduced cooldown rate. Huh. I, 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 we haven't seen quality yet, but I was hoping that it would lose that penalty. Uh, uh, automation also has reduced cooldown. It looks like it's a lower penalty at least. Um, and I'm really curious what quality will do. Maybe we'll see that in the patch notes. Added a new currency item, the Veiled Scarab, which reveals a random scarab when clicked. That's kind of cool. Bailed care subs have been renamed. We don't know about chat change. Following currency items have a stack of 20. So this is because it was big shit trading, right? And this just makes it easier, right? This is, this is just quality of life trading stuff because we get more currency. So, I mean, it's fine, I guess. Um, 14 new unique items. Add the cosmic decaying, awakening, synthesizing reality, devouring and blazing fragments. Apparently you need five fragments to enter one boss, by the way. So supposedly chat, Five of these in the personal map device opens portal to the absence of symmetry and harmony. Yeah, use five of these. Man, I, I'll say right now, some of these changes, I could definitely see myself enjoying chat as if. Potentially. I could also see myself enjoying hardcore too though. I'll have to, t I'll, I'll have to decide very, 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 very soon. But yeah, it's, it's either chat as if or hardcore trade for sure. Um, I could, I could, uh, Alternate art uniques can... No... What?! Holy shit! No way! Alternate art unique items can now be converted to account bound microtransactions. Oh my fucking god, it happened! What?! 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 
Oh my god! I never thought this would happen! Holy shit! What? Oh my god, I, I, I have regret that I didn't buy more MTX now. Fuck! Explain? All, all those cool, like, cosmetics, like demigod items? Oh my god, all my demis can now be worn! Oh! No way! I don't mean to brag or anything, but I have thousand plus demi- Like, I have thousands of race rewards. <laughs> this is gonna be so good for me. I I have to see Ziz's reaction to this. This will be so. This has more shit than me, obviously in standard. So he's gonna be happier. I'm still happy though. I've got some cool shit, and I earned mine. I didn't like buy it or get viewers or anything to give it to me. I actually earned everything on my account. So I'm gonna have some cool shit. Kiwi alternate art cloak of flame. Yeah. So this is like one of the alt arts. Wait, is this the clip? Alternate art unique items can now be converted to account bound microtransactions under the convert race reward check command The item will be destroyed and you will be granted an account bound microtransaction that changes the appearance of the item I have been asking for that for how many years? Holy shit. Thank you Okay, does anyone have a Queen's decree I can have? <laughs> See what I told chat, I told you! Um Wraith Lord, which we saw, four sockets, abyssal sockets, plus one to max specter, and plus two to minion skill gems. This is fucking ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. I assume Gazzy reacted. I wanna see Gazzy just go like just Ugh. Uh Yoke of Suffering. Now has enemies take up to 5 to 10% increased damage for each type of ailment you have. Oh, they just doubled it. Huh. They just doubled it. It's funny if you just double something. You know? Uber Pinnacle bosses now also have distinct drop pulls. We've also made a few tweaks to the- They did not say this, I'm pretty sure. Did they say this? We've made a few tweaks to the boss fight so the difficulties are more balanced with one another. What does that mean? Do, is Awakener going to be easier? And is Shaper going to be harder? Do you think Shaper slam just one shots you now no matter what? Like you just die if you get hit by it? In order to challenge the uber version, you must now successfully beat the non-uber version. Uh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. So you can't skip progression. Oh, you know, this changes Gauntlet like so much. Wow, I just realized. I didn't even realize at the time. Gauntlet just got completely reworked. Like, completely new Gauntlet. Like, it's completely different now. Holy shit. Oh, that's so cool, actually. I mean, Ben's still gonna win, so I guess that's the, you know. But ignoring that part, it's very cool. Fifth slot is now unlocked upon completing a non-Voldo's tier 17 map. Oh, so they removed this from thing Oh, That makes sense, I guess. Void Stones now provide... Oh. Tier 16 maps ha in dropped in areas have a 0.5% chance. Oh, so this is basically the drop rate. It's a 2% chance to drop a tier 17 map. All scarabs are now well drops and no longer have tiers. Oh! Oh, wow! So the art implied that there was tiers, but there's not. They're just different. Huh. Right. I missed it and I thought that it wasn't like... Like, I thought the big dick sextant was better than the small dick sextant. But apparently, it's not the size, it's how you use it. This was what I'm getting. Ha amplified energies, imprison monsters to have at least one essence at the highest tier. Wait, what? Yeah, what? what, what is the highest possible tier? If it's actually deafening, this is just fucking ridiculous. Alright, let's keep reading league changes. Essence, monoliths, and white maps can now spawn up to a maximum tier. Oh, so this is the... Essence, monoliths, and maps can now spawn up to a maximum tier of screaming and white maps. Yellow and red can spawn up to shrieking. The double tap. Yeah, so Essence got... nerfed a lot. Jesus. So you lost double Essence. And instead of shrieking going to deafening... Yeah, you're like, wow. Um... Losing the plus one tier is definitely more of an L, I would say. Oh, it's hard to say. Because now it's going to be like dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, and then a shrieking. No, I would say that's probably a big loss for sure. <laughs> yeah.
just farm tier six. That's true as well. You can't farm them in white maps anymore. Well, you can, but it's like cringe now. Um, wow. Hairlock now gives essence scabs. Verici gives harvest. Oh my god, harvest scabs, boys. Uh, yeah, Verici research. Yeah, so does that mean we lost white socket? Huh. I mean, we still have white socket and harvest, but. Oh, and omens, but. Yeah, I guess omen. So no more Verici, though. Wow. Uh, Kirik. Typically, the map crafting options available rotate each league. All of the options that would usually rotate in and out are now available. Does that mean what I think it means? Is this why they removed 7th gate? Ha! <laughs> you know what? I actually like this. Um, yeah. My god. Yo, this is the sick shakeup. Yo, this is like, they didn't talk about any of this. Wow! Oh my god, we lost monsters! We lost enraged boxes! Oh! Might be on a scarab. Oh! Yo, pray! Pray it's on a scarab! Holy Yo, pray, boys! Fucking pray, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> yo, pray! Chat! Hands and knees right now! Fucking please! Mark, please! Uh, uh, play about Soul Eater. There's a maximum cap. What? This is shit. Wait, for monsters, this buff provides 2% less damage taken per soul. This is awful. Oh, but no, this is shit. What the fuck? That's a huge nerf, dude. I don't know what the orc quality gem of a absolution does. So this means nothing to me. Same with anime guardian of spiding. Same with Reflection. Like, uh, these mean nothing to me. Archmage support. Uh, can no longer support brand or orb skills. Wait, isn't that awful? Wait a minute! Mm. We got a doozy. I am so excited. I am... Uh, yeah, it's deserved for making this video though. It's it's I could not think of a more deserved nerd. Do you think they literally did this? Because they, they watched this video and they were like nyu, nyu, nyu. <laughs> They were like nah bro you fucking making a league start at nine days ago That's too now they know dude you put it on the radar you put it on the radar Holy. Because he was going to do ball lightning. Is ball lightning even an orb? Pee static ball lightning. Orb. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Cleave of rage. What? Ew. Did they just nerf cleave? <laughs> Did they just do a cleave? Mathel! This is Mathel's fault! Mathel! What did you do? Yeah, I saw the build, but the year is 2024 and Mathel just got cleave nerfed. I don't even know what to say. Kinetic Bolt. No longer has increases and reductions to spell damage, also apply to tech damage. Quality now increases projectiles to change direction one additional time. It now has 55% of- wait, what the hell? Wait, it just lost this entirely? Holy shit. Um, so it's exactly the same build, but it has like way less damage now. Like way, 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 way. I mean, like way less damage. Okay, penance spread of- there we go. Penance spread of dissipation, lads. Now activates every 0 0.75 seconds while attached. Big nerf. 50% effectiveness of added damage, big nerf. Damage 16 to 24, previously 20 to 30, big nerf. Um, the pulses now deal 30% more damage with hits, previously 60%. So, wow. Um, yeah. It's probably still pretty good to be fair. Honestly, it's probably still pretty good. It's just not gonna be like, insanely overpowered.
It's still probably gonna be okay though. But that is a, that is a cost speed nerf effectively. It's a damage nerf, and it's a, the you know the actual energy nerf too. It's like Prince Brand is like seventy percent less damage now. Yeah. Wow. 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 That is a very significant nerf. That is a very significant nerf. Now that affects splitting steel. It's funny, all the ones they don't know what they do got buffed. <laughs> I'm such a meta cuck chat. Like anything that I did, like what's rain of Ar what, what's power seven of the Archmage do? I don't know, but it got buffed. I'm such a meta cuck dude. Spectral thrower materializing got buffed. Stormbrand of indecision. Jesus. Jesus, that got brutalized. Damn. So 60% down from 85. Double the cut more than double cut speed. And I what is that what is that damage loss? Like 20-30%? Jesus. Also they nerfed the quality. Wow. Jesus. Summon Raging Spirit. Ra the spirits no longer gains more damage as it levels. Why? Was SRS even that popular? 38% more damage removed. Um Oh, Guardian SRS! Wait, so this got nerfed because of like one build then. Turn sure, here we go. Now has an attack speed multiplier of 80%. So 25% less attack speed. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's a big one. It now has a mana cost of 10. So higher mana cost. I lost the projectile! It lost the secondary projectile! Wow! They actually... Wow! It happened! It actually happened! Now, I don't play softcore, usually. So, I don't care about this. But that's gonna... A lot of people are gonna be like... You know what I mean? A lot of people are affected by that. Added a new... Oh my god, I see the thing. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> 50% of your energy shield is added to your stun threshold. So this is... That kills Blood Notch. Completely. I don't even know if there's a way to deal with it. Is there even a way to deal with this? What's the ring? Valyrium. Right. Wow, so you... And it gives you energy energy shield too, which is bad. Uh, unique item changes. Ralakesh and Patience no longer has 30% movement speed. So they just made Ralakesh... Shit to use. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I was really hoping it was gonna be rarer. That sucks, man. Flask can now be corrupted using Valorbs, adding random quality from minus 10 to plus 10. Veiled Bonafide that reduces mana cost of skills can no longer be found. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh. 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 oh, that's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Ruby, Sapphire, Topaz, Normal Get Grounds, 20% less damage taken. Instead, they now grant plus 5 max res, and their res has also been nerfed. This sucks. There are now 3 tiers of additional elemental resistance during suffix previously 5. With values of 20% at the highest tier. Dude, they are fucking mage blood so hard. Oh my god. Oh dude, headhunter and mage blood got nerfed so much and people don't Do you guys realize it? Do you guys realize what they've done to Mage Blood and Headhunter? You know, I would genuinely, I'm just gonna say right now, chat, I would rather use Progenesis than Mage Blood. Like, why why would I bother now? Like Progenesis is like so much stronger now. Alright, Div card, uh, 21 Transific Gem, Corrupted Grand Spectrum, that is, which Div card is this? <gasps> wow, um, that is a really good Div card now. Rare Monster Item Bonus Mechanics, Rare Monster Item Bonus Mechanics, are now rarer, and the following Item Bonus Mechanics have been removed. They got rid of the Arch Nemesis stuff. Items dropped are converted to gems. Items dropped are converted to scarabs. Items dropped have all white sockets. Items dropped are duplicated. Slain rare monsters give increased experience. Slain rare monsters give increased gem experience. So they got rid of this. 
Arch Nemesis got basically deleted. Do you gotta understand though, chat? This didn't really matter until Arch until um Affliction League. Cause it really wasn't that impactful anyway. I'm 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 telling you, like normally in, in normal gameplay, this is not gonna be that big of a deal. I have not looked at the Necropolis BB page yet. Well, I've looked at it a little bit. Um, I guess we saw this. Hmm, I, I wonder if that rolls. If that rolls, that could be interesting. Do you think Tides of Time could be like a Mage Blood tier belt? I actually think it could. I actually genuinely think it could. This is if it rolls between if it rolls three utility flash chat, I would argue this is a Mage Blood tier belt. Like actually pretty insane. It does require more effort to work, like don't get me wrong, but why not just play Pathfinder? Because this is literally the entire Pathfinder Ascendancy on a belt. That's why. What if I told you, chat, you could be a Pathfinder and a Deadeye? Like, that's fucking insane. Like, that's actually insane. Like, that's actually fucking insane. Like, actually... Like, guys, that's fucking insane. <laughs> you already can, though. Yeah, I know you can, but it's very hard to do so. There's a reason why those jewels cost, like, those uh, forbidden jewels cost a fortune. All right, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Reactors is fit. True. We could watch the... Do you guys want to watch the... Um, I'm only going to watch one person's video on this. Because I don't care that much about Pee Wee 2.